So what do you do with an old bridge after a replacement is built? The easy answer is to demolish it, but near the Quad Cities, they're not thinking easy. They're thinking bison. Our Charlie DeMar takes us out to the mighty Mississippi. Let's support this bridge. Hell Should yeah. we uh, set this out? Chad Pagracki isn't one for small or conventional ideas. Hey, hold on. And today he's busy trying to drum up support for his latest. Oh. Pergracki has spent the last two decades aboard barges, cleaning up rivers for his Living Lands and Waters Foundation, but home is along the Mississippi. And if he gets his way, bison may roam high above the river on the I-80 bridge where Illinois meets Iowa. This might sound crazy, but I actually want the westbound lane dedicated to a small herd of bison. What would that do for this area? People would stop. I mean, right now, people are just 42,000 cars are driving over that bridge a day and they're just going. The 55-year-old bridge is on its last legs and is scheduled to be replaced. Demolishing the bridge will cost millions. Introducing the Bison Bridge Project. Pagracki wants to raise money to turn the bridge into a national monument where bison can wander from one state to the other and people can maybe stop and stay a while. The bridge is in Congresswoman Sherry Bustos' district. Chad's not coming to this project on the day that dynamite's set to blow down the old bridge. He's, he's thinking five, six years out. She's on board and has been pitching the project to the White House. We want the Bison Bridge to be the Mount Rushmore of this region or the St. Louis Arch of this region. Why bison? There were 60 million bison roaming uh, in North America at one time, and then they were decimated down to 3,000. The Bison Bridge would celebrate the history of the land, but also because it's one of a kind I feel like it's forward thinking as well. Dan Palmer raises bison in Maquoketa, Iowa. We took a ride to see his herd. They need all the help they can get, right. both financially and support of it. He's so confident in the project, he's putting money and some of his bison behind Pagracki. If anybody can get it done, Chad can get it done. People who say Chad is crazy, what do you say to, to those people? Come up with a better idea. It's gonna be great for the Quad Cities and it's gonna be a, a healthy attraction. Would you stop if you were gonna see bison on a bridge? You know, I mean, I, I think most people would. There's gonna be animals that live there. Pagracki's perspective may be different. There's more land to graze over here than there is in Iowa. But his vision is clear. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Moline, Illinois.